Good afternoon, Alba. Hi, teacher. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back. <laughs> Let me check who else do I have in here. Hello there, Rene. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to have two albas. <laughs> Good afternoon, Alba Marisol. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Let's see. Who else do we have in here? Amber Dominguez. Hello there. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Excellent. Very good. That's correct. Let me check somebody else. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. How are you, Thank Maya? You. I'm fine. And you? I'm great. I'm happy to be here with you guys. Excellent. Let me just check who else is in the class. Right now we are only four. Hmm. We are missing pretty much a lot of people. Hoy sí ya estamos conectados, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, ya, ya vemos compañeros. <laughs> sí, ya, ya. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being in class on time. Uh, welcome back. For everyone, my name is Febe Eunice Arevalo López. I'm going to be your teacher during this whole semester or level, All right? So it's a pleasure to be here with you. I hope we get along and you learn a lot. If by any means you have any question or you have any doubt about something, please let me know, all right? But it's gotta be related to the English class, right? If it is things about the platform, please try to get in contact with people who's in charge of that. But in my case, I'm in charge of your English classes, which is a pleasure, right? So let me share with you my PBT. There you have it. Today is Monday, September 27th, 2021. And whenever you want to call me or you want to say something to me, you can say Miss Arevalo or teacher, right? So I'm gonna be uh, all the way up to help you, but please try to use those, uh, those names so that I know that you're talking to me, right? Uh, let's see. We are in class number one. And the topic of the platform is, it's nice to meet you, right? We are in section one. So let me check. All right. And antes de avanzar, voy a dar estos anuncios en español. Ya los di en inglés, ahora quiero transmitírselos en español por si hay alguna duda. Eh, mi nombre es Febe Arevalo. Entonces ustedes pueden llamarme Miss Arevalo si necesitan algo o teacher, right? Así yo sé que se están refiriendo a mí y puedo brindarles la ayuda que ustedes necesitan con todo gusto. Espero que realicemos un buen trabajo durante todo el periodo o el nivel. Es un placer estar aquí con ustedes y yo estoy para ayudarles en todo lo que ustedes necesiten relacionado al idioma inglés, right? Y si ustedes en algún momento necesitan Ayuda con algún ejercicio o oh, mis, yo no entendí esto muy bien. En estas clases vamos a desarrollar todos eh, los contenidos de la plataforma. Ese es el propósito, ¿verdad? Ustedes trabajan la plataforma, avanzan todo lo que quieran hasta lograr su 80% o más, creo. No hay ningún problema. Pero si en dado caso ustedes necesitan que yo les ayude con algún ejercicio, sí les voy a pedir de favor que digan el número exacto. Ustedes me pueden encontrar en el grupo de WhatsApp. Hoy en la mañana me presenté. Eh, pueden escribirme si necesitan algo. Ya sea pueden escribirlo en, 
el grupo de WhatsApp o me pueden escribir a mí directamente. Y me ponen, Miss, necesito que me ayude con el ejercicio 1.1 de la sección 1. Right? Quiero que sean bien específicos porque así eh, yo aprovecho el tiempo, busco la manera de ayudarles rápido y también eh, ustedes hacen un buen uso de su tiempo, ¿verdad? Porque no esperan tantísimo tiempo que yo les conteste. Esos son los primeros anuncios. Otra cosa que cuando ustedes tengan algún problema relacionado con la plataforma, siempre se les va a brindar ayuda. Solamente que en este caso ustedes pueden ponerlo en mensaje directo en el grupo. No es necesario que me escriban a mí en privado. ¿Por qué? Porque de esa manera los técnicos de la plataforma van a ver el mensaje y van a ayudarles o brindarles la ayuda que ustedes necesitan, ¿verdad? Siempre es un placer poder ayudarles y es un gusto verlos. Así que, let's get started. Let's see, we have this classroom language. For me, it's really important that we start to connect ourselves with the language, right? So, I have created this classroom language, which is basically only three things, right? So that you start using the language. For example, means I have a question. And then you tell me the question. If you don't know how to, how to tell the question in English, no problem. That's no problem at all because you are learning how to use the language. But yes, you can start using these guiding structures, right? Then we have number two, Miss, how do you say tijera in English? Miss, how do you say borrador in English? Miss, how do you say eh, escritorio in English, All right? Let's try to use the language. Although we are not so advanced, but at least we can try to use it since the beginning, right? Then we have number three. Miss, can you repeat that again, right? Miss, can you repeat that again, right? Please don't tell me, Miss, eh, vuelva a repetir eso, por favor. No. <laughs> Miss, can you repeat that again? Este es un vocabulario bien básico con el cual podemos comenzar a utilizar ya el idioma, all right? So, there you have it. Let's practice with these three questions. I'm going to start with Mayra, okay? Mayra, ask me question number one. Right? You just have to practice with this question. Your microphone. I Don't have a question. Exactly. Excellent. I have a question. So then you proceed to tell me your question, right? Después ustedes proceden a decirme la pregunta que tengan. Pero estamos haciendo uso del idioma inglés. Miss, I have a question. Alba Torres, number two, please. Miss, how do you say tijera English? Excellent, very good. Thank you. And number four, Amber Dominguez. Number three, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that again? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you very much. Let's go with um, Alba Marisol. Tell me number one, please. Miss, I have a question. Oh, Alba, Alba Marisol is the same, Alba Torres. <laughs> es que aparecen dos dispositivos, Albita. Ah, aparecen no. Por eso. Es uno. <laughs> ah, all right, all right. Let me see, es que tengo. All right, Alba Marisol Torres. Let's check. Hola. Hola. No. Hola. Ah, pues tengo dos Albas con el mismo apellido, Torres. Ah. All right. Well, Albita, please tell me question number one, Alba Marisol, please. Let's see. Okay. It's going to be a little difficult. Let's see. Meanwhile, Rene Giron, tell me question number one, please. I have a question. Excellent, thank you. Leonardo Iglesias, please, number two. Miss, what do you say is tijera in English? Excellent, thank you. Maria Montano, number three. 
María Montana. I don't have it in here. So the last one is, Miss, can you repeat that again? All right, listen. Something that I need to tell you. And I'm going to say this for you in Spanish so that we move along with it. En mis clases, cada vez que cometemos un mistake, un error, en la pronunciación de alguna palabra, a mí me encanta que la pronunciemos tres veces más, all right? So, ustedes siempre van a escuchar que yo les diga, okay, repeat again three, three times the word question, right? ¿Por qué? Porque entre más practiquen, será mil veces mejor para ustedes, okay? Entonces, siempre vamos a hacer eso. Se los avise desde ya. All right, let's move on. Introducing yourself, guiding example. This is a guiding example, right? Hello, my name is Febe Arevalo. I am 23 years old. I work as an English teacher. I live in El Salvador. I'm Salvadorian. Basic as that, right? I'm Salvadorian. So what I want you to do is that on your notebooks, create a similar, uh, a similar paragraph with your own information, introducing yourself. You're only going to change, for example, instead of Feba Arevalo, you're going to say, um, I don't know, your name may be Enrique, right? Then you're going to tell me your name. Your age is going to depend on how old are you. And then you tell me which is your work, right? Let's work on it, please. On your, notebook, on your notebooks, and then we're going to practice. Let me know when you're finished. Teacher. Yes. How do you say ejecutiva de ventas in English? Mm, salesperson. Salesperson. Sales. Thank you. You can also say executive, but it's easier for you, salesperson. Okay, everyone, let me know when you're finished. Siempre que ustedes terminen una actividad, pueden decirme, Miss, I finished. All right? Miss, I finish. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Mrs. Hello, my hello. My name is Mayra de Rivas. I am 40 years old. I work as a person. I live in El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Excellent. Very good. Now you see easy. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Alba Torres. Okay. Hello, my name is Alba Torne. I am 27 years old. I work as an um, I for Comalapa. I live in the Libertad I'm Salvadorian. Excellent, very really good. Thank you so much, Alba. All right, everyone. Don't forget that in this part, <clears throat> you're gonna tell what do you work at. For example, I'm a salesperson, I'm executive of sales, or I don't know, anything else. I'm a student, I'm a teacher, anything that you want to say, all right? Even if you are a, una ama de casa, you can say I'm a housewife, right? For everyone, that it's that. Let's move on with René Giron, please. Hello, my name is René Giron. I am three 
34 years old. I work as a software engineer. I live in El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Excellent, very good, that's correct. Excellent, we're doing great. Let's go with Leonardo Iglesias, please. Hello, my name is Leonardo Iglesias. I am 59 years old. I work uh, as Industria Constancia. I live in Santa Tecla. I am Salvador. Excellent, very good, that's correct. All right, everyone. Si ustedes quieren poner su locación de trabajo, you gotta say, I work in, right? And then you say, el lugar. Pero si ustedes quieren decir de qué trabajan, I work as a, and then you tell. Excellent, let's move on. Um, let's see, let me check somebody else. Okay, now Alba Marisol. My name is Alba Marisol Galas. Tengo un poco con eso porque tengo conexión en esa nombre. Sí, veo que quizás le falla un poquito, no sé si será el internet. Probable. Probable. Eh, no sé si el internet o el audio, pero, pero lo escucho como cortado. Tengo un, un poquito inestable ahorita. Yeah, it's true, Alba. Don't worry. No se preocupe. La próxima clase pasará. <laughs> Porque sí, en realidad su audio está entrecortado. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Eh, let's go with, let me see, María Montano. María Montano. All right, everyone. Sí les voy a pedir algo. Eh, siempre tratemos de asegurarnos si nuestro audio funciona, si los audífonos funcionan, porque yo sé que eso pasa. Es inevitable. No tenemos la culpa de eso. Eso siempre nos puede pasar. A mí me va a fallar de vez en cuando el audio, quizás. Entonces, eso siempre sucede. Pero, por favor, yo no sé si a ustedes les comentaron que tenían que tener eh, la cámara abierta. No sé si les dijeron eso, pero lo más seguro es que tienen que tener la cámara abierta porque es una interacción entre el docente y el estudiante, right A no ser que sea un caso extremo, pues quizás no se pueda abrir la cámara, pero other than that, tratemos de hacerlo. Porque yo no sé si ustedes están ahí, si tienen algún problema con el micrófono o algo, y yo quedo. Hello, hello. No, right? So let's work with that. Excellent. Let's move on with uh, Ember. Ember Dominguez, please. I think you haven't passed. Hello, my name is Ember Dominguez. I am 65 years old. I work as salesperson. I'm living in Salvador. I'm Salvadorian. Excellent. Very really good. That's correct. Thank you so much. All right, everyone, very good. Now that we have introduced ourselves, um, we are learning a little bit more about that, but let's see what else do we have for today's class. As I told you, all the content that you have in your platform, you will see it in here, because I know that it's almost impossible to practice outside of English class, right? Because we don't have somebody to practice with, so that's why you're going to practice as much as possible during my class, right? Let's start. I'm going to have a Leonardo, you are going to be Michael. And let me check. Mayra, you are going to be Jennifer. Action. Your microphone, Leonardo. <laughs> You have your microphone closed? Sorry. Hi, my name is Leonardo. Hi, I'm Mayra Nerio. Nice to meet you, uh, Mayra. Nice to meet you too. Uh, I'm sorry, what is your last name again? It's Nerio. 
Very good, all right, thank you. Excellent, we have no problems with the pronunciation, that's correct. Now, listen, according to the information, we have first name, which is in Leonardo's case, Leonardo is your first name, and your last name is, of course, Iglesias, in the same case with uh, Mayra. Your first name is Mayra, and your last name is Rivas, right? So that's correct. Thank you. Let's go with Rene. You are Michael and Alba Torres. You are Jennifer. Action. Your, your microphone, Rene. All right. Don't worry. Hi. My name is Rene Giron. I'm Alba Torres. It's not. Nice. It's nice to meet you, Alba. Nice to meet you, too. I'm sorry. What's your last name again? It's Torre. Excellent. That's correct. Very good. There you have it. No problems, no mistakes. Let's go with Ember Dominguez. Let me check. You're going to be Michael. And let me see if I can find you somebody else. If not, you're going to practice with me, Ember, all right? So you're my good. Hi, my name is Ember Dominguez. I'm Fede Arevalo. It's nice to meet you, Fer. Fede, yeah, F-E-V-E, -E. right, ah. Fede. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry. What's your last name again? It's Fe it's Arevalo, right? Excellent, really good, really good, Amber. Good pronunciation, we're doing great. All right, everyone. Now this is like the basic that you can have for the part of introducing yourself, right? So make sure to use it whenever you are introducing to somebody else. Let's work on the following. Possessive adjectives. These ones are my favorite, right? <laughs> it says, we use possessive, uh, okay, listen. Most of the time I'm going to read the information first. And after me, I'm going to choose somebody to read the same information, all right? Let's get started. So we use the possessive adjectives when we want to express a form of possession, right? When you want to say that something is yours and nobody else's. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have a check. Rene Hiron, please read the same information that I just read. Sorry, can you repeat again, mm -hmm. please? Yes, read this information. <clears throat> we use the possessive adjectives when we want to express a form of possession. Excellent, really good. All right, everyone. So we have these possessive adjectives. We have my, your, his, her, it's, our, no our, our, their, their. All right, everyone, check this out. Cuando estamos aprendiendo un idioma nuevo, es importante que abramos bien la boca. ¿Se fijaron en esta pronunciación de our, right? Eso influye bastante en cómo vamos a transmitir nosotros uh, la pronunciation. Um, let's see. I'm going to have Mayra, please. Tell me the possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, it's, our, their. Excellent. Very really good. Bravo. Leonardo Iglesias, please. The possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, it's, our, their. Excellent, very really good, we're doing good. Let's see, Amber. 
my, your, his, her, its, our, their. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with Rene. My, your, his, her, its, our, their. Thank you. All right. Now listen. In the platform, you don't have this information. I mean, you have it, but it's just uh, like in a speaking, right? You don't have it like in here, visual. So if you want, you can copy this on your notebooks. Please, I'm telling you, have your own notebook. I need you to have your notebook so that you take notes and you practice whenever you need it, all right? So take notes because tomorrow I'm gonna ask you the same. Siempre le voy a pedir que tengan un cuaderno y tomen sus propias notas porque yo el día siguiente les voy a preguntar acerca de lo que vieron la clase pasada. Finished? I finished. Excellent. Ready again. That's great. Now, I believe that some of you have finished already. Yeah, I see some of you already finished. All right, so let's move on. We have another practice part, right? Let me make it bigger. So in here, we're going to use the possessive adjectives, my, your, his, their. Okay, so my name is Jennifer, right? Simple as that, my name is Jennifer. His name is Michael. His name is Michael. Her name is Nicole. Her name is Nicole, okay? Now, Let's practice the pronunciation. If you want, you can change the names. If not, don't worry. But everyone is going to practice. I'm gonna ask the questions. I'm going to be the one asking the questions. What's your name? What's his name? What's her name? And you are going to answer, all right? You're going to answer. Let's start with, let me see. Leonardo, okay, Leonardo. So what's your name? My name is Leonardo. What's his name? Uh, his name is Alba. I am, I am Leonardo. Okay, so what's his name? His name? His is uh, para él. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, his name is Amber. I am Victor. Excellent. And um, what's her name? Uh, her name is Alba. Excellent. There you have it. Simple as that. Thank you. Okay. Alba, what's your name? <clears throat> your microphone, Alba. What's your name, Alba? 
my name is Alba. Okay. Sorry, teacher. My name is Alba. Exactly. Don't worry. What's his name? His name Evel. All right. His name is Evel. <laughs> What's her name? Um, her name is Patricia Maria. Maria. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Very good. There you have it. Thank you. Quiero que aprendamos a diferenciar cada uno de estos, all right? Thank you, Alba. Let's go with René. So, what's your name, René? My name is René. What's his name? His name is Ember. What's her name? Her name is Mayra. Excellent. Bravo, thank you. Let's go with Amber. So what's your name? My name is Amber. What's his name? His name is Leonardo. What's her name? Her name is Alba. Excellent, there you have it. Thank you, all right? Check this out, everyone. What's equal what is? What is the contraction? Please, don't eat the contraction. I know that sometimes it's difficult trying to say what's, right? But you gotta use it. What's? That's the contraction, right? The contraction of what is. Is is the verb, the verb to be. Okay, now let's move on. Check this information, check this out. These ones, Listen carefully. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Those are subject pronouns. Subject pronouns, right? Let me. Right? These ones are subject pronouns over here, right? These ones are subject pronouns. And these ones, you already know them, possessive adjectives, right? Take into consideration this. I don't want you to mess up. I don't want you to, uh, to make a mistake. I need you to recognize both. We have subject pronouns we have possessive adjectives. Both are different. They're not the same, all right? So let's not, do not get confused with it. I'm going to have Mayra. Mayra, please tell me the subject pronoun. And Amber, you are going to tell me the possessive adjectives. One and one, all right? For example, I, my, okay? I, my. Amber is the possessive adjective. I. My. You. Your. He. His. She. Her. It. It. We. Our. They. Their. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Now, e Alba Torres, you are the subject pronouns and Leonardo, you are possessive adjectives. Okay. I. Okay. Bye. Yo. Your. You. He. <laughs> she. Her. It. It's. We. Your. Oh. They. There. They. All right. They. Excellent. Really good, everyone. Now let's let's check this. If you by any chance you see this, si ustedes llegan a ver esta estructura, no es possessive, no es possessive adjective. It's not possessive adjective. 
it's a contraction between subject and verb to be, right? That's the contraction. No vayan a pensar que porque tiene la S es possessive adjective. No. That's a different thing, right? The possessive adjective for his is he. Now let's check this out. Uh, Rene, you are subject pronouns and possessive adjectives. I. My. You. Your. He. His. She. Her. It. It's. We. Our. They. Their. Excellent, thank you. All right, everyone, if you don't have this, if you already knew the oh, subject pronouns, it's okay. If not, copy the subject pronouns on your notebook, please. Si no tenían los subject pronouns, pueden copiarlos. And if you already have them, don't worry. Now let's check these examples, guiding examples, right? Let me see if I can make it bigger for you. Oh, it has 24, it's okay. Now let's work with it. Mm, I'm going to have number one, Alba, number two, Mayra, and number three, uh, Amber Dominguez. Okay, my computer is on. My computer is on. Thank you. Our parents are all. Thank you. Your cell phone is new. Excellent, all right? Thank you. So, my computer is old. Our parents are old. Your cell phone is new, right? New. Let's see. Uh, Leonardo, number four. Rene, number five. Uh, your train is not going to well in the school. The student of class seven submitted their assessment. Excellent. Thank you, Leonardo and Rene. All right. So your child is not doing well in the school, sadly. The students of class seven submit their assignment, assignment right? Excellent. Very good. Now, you already have in here the possessives, right? My, our, your, your miss, but in number five, we don't have one. Yes, we do have it there, right? The students, it's my subject pronoun and there is my possessive adjective, right? My possessive. Let's go with number six, Mayra, please. And number seven, eh, Mr. Dominguez, please. Her car is red. And all. Don't start. Are you down? Excellent. Thank you. Now let's check this one. Thank you, uh, Mayra and, and Mr. Dominguez. Let's check this out. At first view, do you see any possessive adjective in that one? <sighs> I, d I don't understand because I don't listen. Okay, okay. Let's check this one. Ahora sí me escucha, Mayra? Yes, okay. ¿Ven ustedes aquí algún possessive adjective in number seven? Do you see any possessive? Tonis, Tonis, maybe. Yes. Excellent. 
Very good. There you have it. That's what I want you to check. Sometimes the possessive adjective, exactly the first ones are not included, right? But you have it in here, in tonics, right? Tonics, right? That's the possessive adjective. Now, listen. I cannot say Tony, see, if I want to say Tony is, let me see, Tony is my brother. Nunca voy a hacer una contraction de estos dos. Por ende, la única contraction que pueden tener en un nombre es la del possessive object. All right? I just want to be very clear with that. So as you mentioned, Tony's, is the contraction, is the a possessive adjective that we have. All right, everyone. If you have this, if you want, you can copy these examples on your notebooks. If you don't want, it's okay. But just remember then after this, you are going to practice. Yo siempre le voy a recomendar que tomen notas durante la clase, porque después, usualmente después de cada tópico, yo les pongo a practicar. Entonces quiero que ya tengan ejemplos ustedes de cómo se hacen las cosas, ¿all right? Let me know when you're finished. I finished. Excellent, very good. All right, let's move on. Now. Right? Practice time. One, work individually. Two, create one sentence using possessive adjectives. Oh, let me check. <laughs> yeah, it has double S. Right? Using possessive adjectives. All right? And then share it with the class. All right? So there you have it. This is the practice time that you have. Let's work on it. I'm going to give you three minutes to create your sentence. Entonces, ven la palabra sentence aquí, significa oración, all right? So, that's what you gotta do. You are going to create yours.
What does meaning share? Hmm? What does meaning share? Ah, oh, share. When you express to everyone in the class. Ah, okay. Basically, Thank compartir. Maybe some of you already finished. How many of you did finished already? No one? Remember that when you finished doing an activity, you gotta, you gotta tell me, Miss, I finished. Oh, I see Maida. My work is very interesting, excellent. That's correct. Very good. What about Mr. Dominguez? Uh, my bike is yellow. All right, excellent. There you have it. My Rene Hiron. My car is broken. All right, excellent. Thank you. Let's see eh, Alba Torres. And my TV is new. My TV is new. Excellent. And let's see Leonardo. My dog is fat. Excellent. Very good. All right. Very good. That's correct. Eh, for the ones that they are audio is not able, let's see, it's not working. Uh, Marisol and Maria, you can send me the sentence through chat, please, all right? El audio de ustedes no funciona muy bien, así que pueden enviármelo por chat. There's no problem, aquí in Zoom. All right, everyone, very good, that's correct. We're starting to use uh, the possessive adjectives. Now let's move on. Now, you see, in every language that we are learning, it's really important to learn the alphabet, right? The alphabet. By learning the alphabet, other things are going to be so much easier. So we have the pronunciation in there. A, B, C. just listen. The first time, just listen, okay? Just listen. Do not say anything. Just listen. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, look at this one, V, W, X, Y, Z. In the last one, you're going to feel a vibration over here, Z, right, Z. Let's work with this. Okay, just let me check. So Maria Montano says, my favorite hobby is exercising. Excellent, really good. That's great. All right. Let's have Leonardo tell me the alphabet, please. A, B, C, D, A, F, G. Uh, what did you say, H? H. H, I, G, K. Uh, what did you say, K? K. K. L. M. N. O. P. Q. Uh, what do you say? Q. 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 R. Is. Uh, is. T. U. 
B, W, X, G, C. Okay, repeat after me. E, E, J, J, Y, Y, okay, Y, Y, J, J, E, E. Excellent. Bravo, very good. That's correct. All right, everyone, don't forget to make the emphasis in letter V. V, all right? Let's work with René Giron, please. A, B, C, D, A, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, X, T, U, P, W, X, Y, C. Excellent, that's correct, very good. Let's go with Mayra, please. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, B, W, X, Y, Z. Very good, excellent. I love your emphasis. Excellent, very really good. Let's go with Alba Torres, please. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, E, F, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Excellent, bravo, very good, Alba. Repeat after me, Alba. Thank you. H. 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 Excellent, very good. You're doing great. Let's go with Amber, please. The alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, H, Y, C. Excellent, very really good, we're doing great. Excellent, everyone. Now, the basis to start learning English, it's the alphabet, right? That's one of the basis to start learning English. Now, let me check this other PPT. I think that basically we're going to finish almost with this one, right? Now, spell your name. A spelling is an amazing ability that we must develop ourselves. For example, my name is Feve. That's F-E-B-E. -E. Simple as that, right? My last name is Lopez. That's L-O-P-E-Z, right? Let's work with René, please. René Giro. My name is René. That's <clears throat> R-A-N-A. -A. Right, repeat after me, E. 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 Excellent, very good. Your last name? My last name is Kiron. E-I-R-O-N. All right, thank you. G I R. O M. That's correct. And uh, let's got Mayra, please. Let's have Mayra. My name is Mayra. That is M A Y Y Y I Y R A. Y my last Y Y. <laughs> my last name is R. I B 
A S. Excellent. Very good. That's correct. Leonardo, please. Uh, my name is Leonardo. Uh, that is uh, L A O N A R D O. And my last name is Iglesias. That is uh, I G L uh, E G C E E O S. Iglesias, it has O. Iglesias, eh, muy largo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, it was like, no, 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 espérense, no lleva O. <laughs> All right, excellent, that's correct. Thank you, Leonardo. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go with eh, Dominguez, please, Amber Dominguez. My name is Amber. E, that's E-M-B-E-R. My last name is Dominguez. D, that's D-O-M-I-N-G-U-E-Z. All right, excellent, really good, that's correct. Great, everyone. Now, uh, sorry to hear that Marisol and Maria, there are, their audio is not working, but let's check. Please remember that whenever we are the spelling our names, you gotta be convinced, right? <laughs> For example, don't forget that the pronunciation of A is E, right? E, E. Most of the time, uh, people get confused between E, I, A, right? A, E, I. People get confused with that, but you won't. I know that you won't do that, all right? Now, listen, everyone, we're going to finish the class in here. I just want to tell you something. If you have a, I'm going to say this, the platform is going to be open. I think that it's already open, right? From the, uh, from the afternoon and so on, you will have your platform open. Así que ya pueden practicar en su plataforma, en teoría ya tendría que estar abierta. Pueden practicar, avanzar en los ejercicios y mañana tendremos nuestra segunda clase. All right? All right, everyone. See you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.